Hey my YouTube fans, how are you guys all doing out there? Once again, my name is Trevor Selescu. I might change it sometimes, so you'll be like, my name is Jimmy Smith, you know, and you'll be like, wait a minute, what happened to Trevor? Bring him back! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so as you guys all know that tune in to my channel, YouTube channels, right? Uh, for the past four years, solid, I've been running slot car racing, 132nd scale Carrera digital slot cars. So um, that was going good, going great actually, until our Prime Minister in Canada here, uh, actually our Premier of Alberta, suggested that all non-essential businesses shut their doors while we're all dealing with the virus. So that means that I cannot be open to the general public anymore until that restriction has been lifted off our shoulders. Yeah, but that's going to, of course, going to be when numbers drop and good stuff starts coming back up again, as far as people are concerned. <laughs> you know, anyway, so what that's kind of done is it's put my entire slot car racing thing on pause for probably until June or July of 2020. <sighs> so in the meantime, I still have the what's in the box unboxing videos, but you know, and then a couple of other random things, but I've been on Google, or on Facebook, sorry, searching around for, you know, kind of alternative racing ideas that I can come up with, right? Or that, that would be cool to film in the meantime, and maybe even make those into something, you know, future content, right? So, I was looking up stuff, and, you know, we've always liked Hot Wheels. All of us out there had some, you know, basically. Uh, so I found this cool guy, he's called 3D Bot Maker, and what he does is he films these Hot Wheel tracks that he's built, and they're mountain style, so starts at three feet up in the air, the track comes down to two, two foot level, goes around these high bank curves, goes down another one foot level, comes around these curves, goes down to zero, and then has a finish gate. It's all digitally timed and everything, so they he can race four or five cars. There's no center lane in his track, so he can do these like wide curves and all the cars go up and down and crash in each other. It's really cool to watch. And of course, he's got the digital stuff so you can like name a car and it can go up and down in the rankings and all this cool stuff. So he currently, he's doing this customized tournament called King of the Mountain. So if you check him out, you will see that People modify Hot Wheel cars, and then they send them to him. He's down in California. He's got 200,000 subscribers, so there's a lot of people watching this. And actually, because of the virus and everybody staying home, all our YouTube channels, everybody that has one, it's we're seeing like, I'm not seeing big spikes, but I'm seeing you know gradual ups and downs that are, you know, to my favor because everybody's watching all these videos. They're typing in you know what to do and. So anyway, 3D Bot Maker, he's actually hitting the news, like, um, you know, CTV, CBC, all this stuff. And everybody's going crazy because his videos are just amazing. So this King of the Mountain, you can build a Hot Wheel car between minimum 65 grams and 115 grams. So you're going to have to drill out the rivets and add in weights. And you guys have seen the video that I've done on, like, restoring a Hot Wheel car. I'm doing this uh, Comox van that I built when I was a kid for, you know, my friend that was his dad's business. You drill out the rivets so you can take the thing apart, and, you know, strip it and repaint it and all the rest. But actually, prior to this whole me finding out about this thing and the virus and all that, I had it in my mind to start doing Monster Hobby's promotional material. So I picked up these super vans, which was an they originally came out in 1974 from Hot Wheels. But I picked these up. These are the latest release, the Artist Series. And I've drilled out the rivets and everything on a couple of them. And Schultz Science, they designed up this logo. Uh, this logo is the Frank in the Car is from a friend of mine in Germany. But they came up with like, well, I, I directed them. The circle idea and all this. They, this. they printed this off. They put it on my shirts and everything on my van. And now I've got these little ones. They made a left and right hand so that I can stick these. These are Hot Wheels size. And if you want these, um, I'm going to do some stuff on my uh, 
www.monster-hobbies.ca where you can actually order a set of these and come up with some cool stuff. Um, that's all in the works. But anyway, so I'm in the process of making converting a super van and I'm going to mail it down to him so that Monster Hobbies can get on his channel and then more people can check me out and High River and everything else. It's really cool. So in a minute, I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing and everything and testing it and, and the whole thing. But what I want to do is let you know that I picked one of these up. This is a Hot Wheels mystery bag. And at the end of this video, I got to open this thing up and see it. I got this thing a couple of weeks ago and it's been kind of itching to open it up on film. So everybody, if you stay in, survive to the end of this video, you get to see what's in that little bag. So that'll be kind of cool. Anyway, without further ado, uh, let's go down to the races. No, let's go down and see how I'm preparing for the King of the Mountain Tournament. So here we have the most recent super van offering by Hot Wheels. And this one is part of that artist series, if you're looking for it. So what I'm going to do is I've got a whole bunch of these. And I've got new decals made up from Schultz Signs, which is a local High River uh, business. And the guy at Canadian Tire also gave me some weights. So I'm going to strip down these cars and enter them in the 3D Bot Maker King of the Mountain series, which you can watch on YouTube now. So here is my first take on the Super Van for uh, the 3D Bot Maker King of the Mountain competition. And as you can see, there's a little Monster Hobbies sticker, just like on my t-shirt. That was designed by Schultz Signs in town. I did the pinstriping on here. I uh, drilled out the rivets, opened it up, painted up that grill to get rid of the blue plastic, make it actually look like a proper van. That, of course, is the Games Workshop silver paints that are going on there. Lead belcher, iron breaker, and that kind of thing. Then the pinstripes are Tamiya and an old testers. They're acrylic. So the green and the orange. I hand did that myself. And of course we still have the red window and the red wheels. Sort of gives it a Star Wars Sith kind of look to it. But this is our first entry in that King of the Mountain. Here we are down at the weigh-in scale, and according to 3D Bot Maker's King of the Mountain, um, the tournament, the vehicle minimum weight needs to be 65 grams, and the maximum is 115. Any added weight must be concealed inside the vehicle. Now, what's nice about the uh, super vans here is that they're big and tall and boxy, and right here you can see the weights that uh, I got from the guy at Canadian Tire. You just twist these and they snap off. I've got... this is a bigger one. Um, yeah. I've got one of these on the bottom. Because of that funny little pan in there. And then I've got two of these stacked this way into the back. So here's the regular super van where we started. So I'll turn on the scale. Okay. Gee, you can't really... You can't see that at all. <laughs> oh, maybe now. Yeah, there we go. So there we got zero grams. So I'll put on the out-of-the-package super van. And now... Uh, you can't really see that. But it says 47... There we go. 47 grams. So now, the modified Monster Hobbies one. Check this out. Okay, we gotta wait. Do, 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 do. Come on. There, 104 grams. So that is according to the Accuate scale that I've got here, a digital scale. So I don't think I can stuff any more into this, but I'm kind of scared of it going down my track because I know that the regular super van can get top heavy and get into a big flip. Uh, it's happened a few times. It's smacked into my basement door. So what is 104 grams going to do on that same curve? Well, I hate to try it, but let's go and test this thing. And here we are at the uh, Monster Hobbies big messy house. This is our track bed. 
uh, test bed. So I've got the track mounted onto a long sheet of stu pink styrofoam till it hits the ground. And then it runs off along our carpet, goes way out there, turns around, comes back into these catch loops. Messy table. <laughs> okay, anyway. COVID time, right? So, um, these are the, uh, like, as long as you can get them, orange tracks. So I've got one, two, three, four, where's it crack there? Five, two, three, four, five, six. Ha, I lost it. <laughs> it's easier with the Carrera slot car track. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of track. Ten pieces of track before we hit into the 1970s curve there. And then one, two, three, four, five coming back into the loops. All right, seeing as I kicked that with my big clumsy feet, I'll set it up again and then we'll do a little test. All right, so the A track, the or the green, is the outer. So I've got the jacket in the bag up there because I know regular super van can get to the end and then go airborne halfway around that curve. I don't know why it's doing that, but let's try it. So here we go, the art series super van. Okay, made it around there. So you flew out. All right, but that is... 47 grams. Now, I hope this doesn't hit anything, chip the paint and make it look like heck. But here goes 103 grams. Aha, see? Airborne around that curve. Good thing I got my daughter's jacket here. I don't know how this is going to survive around Botmaker's track. Thankfully, I didn't chip anything. Let's try it again. Probably same result. Yep. Now she's fast, but she's just going to go airborne. I need this to be 800 feet right through this wall outside into the neighbor's backyard for it to be able to get enough momentum to go around there. So, well, I guess we just got to try our luck. But Botmaker's uh, curves don't flatten out and then high bank. His are high bank all the way around. Let's just try it on the B track. There we go. Wow. <laughs> it landed on its side. I hope it didn't scratch anything there. Nope, it still looks good. Okay, so the B A track has issues, but B track. Okay. Man, you can actually feel the track drop right in here when that goes. The 103 gram. It's funny though, eh? Because that's... That makes no sense. It's not logical. That's a tight radius on the B track. Like... Wow, look at that. It even separated the track there. It's a cannon. Like, this is a tight radius on that inner. How come it doesn't go airborne off the inner, but air airborne off the outer? And it doesn't even get into the crack. It goes airborne right there. So anyway, that's how that's looking. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have one of these things, but this is a, like, I guess, an early 2000s Hot Wheels uh, lap counter. Uh, sorry, a speedometer. Oops. There it goes. So what happens is there's this bar post at the bottom and then over here is the readout. So when a car gets through this thing, it'll hit the post and it'll make it uh, go up. All right. Now the top run on this speedometer is 270. Hot Wheels scale miles an hour, I guess. I don't know. So the way I've set this thing up is I've got it two tracks off of that curve. So I've been testing cars this way. 
The fastest one I've got will punch that thing at 50 miles an hour, or whatever it is, right? So, we're just going to run the test with normal Supervan, see where that goes, and then the 103 gram Supervan. Okay, so here goes 47 gram Supervan. Oh yeah, in an amazing stunt. Jumps from the bottom to the top. <laughs> Just so I can avoid the speedometer. So let's do that again. Oh yeah, okay, great. Hang on. Okay, I decided to uh, ignore the white super van. But the black one made it around, so let's see how fast this goes. Where this thing punched to. Okay, 40. Okay, here's the second try. Wow, what an amazing stunt. <laughs> Went up right sideways, came crashing around. Clocked another 40. Third and final test. There we go, perfect through the gate. So it still looks like 40. Yep. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and tune in when this goes down to 3D Bot Maker. Uh, now all I need to do is just add a little bit of uh, some JB Weld. I crazy glued those together. But I'll add a little JB Weld just to make a nice little round bullet rivet underneath there. I would uh, put screws in there if I had the tap and die sets, but I, I don't. Unfortunately, I can't even order them because all my wholesalers have the doors closed until all this whole virus thing is dealt with. So I'm really just, what I have is what I have. But anyway, wish me luck in that competition. And now without further ado, let's open this thing because I am really curious as to what the mystery Hot Wheel is. Look at this, everybody's having fun at the beach. I don't know if they're six feet apart from each other, but uh, hey, <laughs> it'd be fun to be back at the beach and not need to be worried about being six feet away from somebody. So let's just take all the utility knife. And of course, as you can see, I'm in my basement. So this is one of those basement videos. Okay, so let's open this thing up. Irrelevant, you say. And see what's in it. All right, so, hey, this is cool. This is a short little tiny Hot Wheel. Wow, is it ever tiny? It's one of these dwarf type ones. Look at this funny thing. Red headlights. Again, pink. That's uh, kind of neat. So what is it called here? Uh, Rocket Box. That's what this one is called. So if you're in Walmart, you know, check out these mystery Hot Wheels. Just put that to the side. What is in this? It's a sticker. Yay, I get a sticker. Maybe it glows in the dark, I don't know. And then you get a poster with all the mystery Hot Wheels in it. Oh, and a little maze. Woohoo! Alright, I could give that to my daughters. Huh. Cool, how come I can never grab the one that I really want? Which, of course, being the old Hot Wheel type guy, is either Twin Mill or this 55 Chevy. I could use another one. Mine's good. <laughs> I got an old one from 83 and all the wheels are bent up in it and it can barely crawl around the track. Yeah, Bone Shaker would be nice too. Uh, other than that though, uh, you know, they're more of the... Okay, they got the new Corvette and they got the SRT Viper in here. But I'm the Hot Wheel kind of guy that likes the real cars and maybe a couple of customs and whatever, but... A lot of these are, you know, just Hot Wheel cars, right? 
So anyway, I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that kind of cool stuff. And until next time, happy Hot Wheel building.